now. Acknowledge me. The king of cake. You can't see me. Forever. Together. Hello. Hello, MC Ronaldo7. I will be there in two minutes. Very good. I will wait for you in front of the elevator. Okay. Hi Lion Tiger, nice to see you again. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now that you are here, let's go to a room suitable for the interview. Okay, let's go. Before starting the interview, I would need to know if I can use television to trace your career in video. Of course. Good, let's get started without further ado. Hello WWE Universe here Zelia Zanella Celanello for World Wrestling Entertainment Magazine. I have the privilege of interviewing the famous wrestler Lion Tiger the Legendary Killer, also known as the MC Ronaldo 7. Hello MC Ronaldo 7, can you briefly introduce yourself? Of course Lion Tiger also known as MC Ronaldo 7 wrestler for the WWE Company. Well, my first question, when did you start with the WWE company? My career started offline in 2005 on SmackDown vs Raw 2006, during the SmackDown vs Raw rivalry, back when NXT didn't exist at the time. Well let's take a look together at your first official entrance during your WWE debut.
I would like to come back to the Hall of Fame evening, which ended tragically according to the testimonies collected on site after a widespread power cut. The noob killer intervened to sabotage the ceremony. We have little information. My a few days later the paparazzi saw you visit the grave of the remaining members of the noob killers whose founder according to other rumors it is a posthumous induction financed by you or we can read hall of fake my question is this how all this has started and will the hall of fake be present as a new ceremony in the future to incentivize those who do not deserve to be members of the hall of fame so that everyone understands it all started with a little video on the youtube channel of my friend rismal a video of poor quality but where we see the defeat of Eski, I had not seen the video. After my absence, the two me asked for my Discord to be turned on good terms with the two. I created a Discord and added the two Eski and Rismal. Without knowing who didn't like each other then we discovered the new stipulations of the war games then we faced the two without knowing it several times. Noob killer because Eski asked his boss to help use all the old members of noob killer instead of asking one on one we could have done it I could have taken on the role of referee but he acts like a traitor he ends badly and destroys the clan he and his boss freed the best Americans who created their own clan. Plan. I finished this story long before Cody was his story it is possible that other inductions will take place in the Hall of Fake but it will probably not be annual but an exceptional ceremony. Do you think that what was a member of the noob killer in the majority of American wrestlers has lost its value by being under the influence of the late founding guru of the noob killer? Clearly, I did not imagine that the American wrestlers were also manipulated like puppets yet the late founder of the noobs does not kill their payers nor the controller console does not include the PSN account or the electricity bill and even less the bill internet real Americans hate the injustice we've seen lately saw an American soldier set himself on fire because he didn't want to witness blatant injustice. Next question in another tomb we can read the word traitor, can you tell us why? He lied to me he betrayed me and after investigation he gave information on the online presence of those who had as a friend list it is why legendary owner had the same person multiple times in a match yet I considered him a friend but he would rather be submissive to his boss. We want to tell you about the magazines released last summer, in which we say you're opposed the World Economic Forum. We have investigated. We would like your opinion on what we are going to show you. We are deliberately blurring the speaker's face. Now let's watch the video together. The last thing I'll say is just the human engineering. I think that with this capac with with this ability to synthesize human be uh, genome, we can actually do a lot of things. There's actually a lot of opportunities for this to solve big world problems. So uh, one thing is the climate change, and there uh, I'll just use um, you know sort of climate change is really big problem. We don't really know how to solve it, but it turns out that we can use human engineering to help us address climate change. So I'll give two examples. So one is that. That, uh, people eat too much meat, right? And if they were to cut down on their consumption on meat, then they would, uh, it would actually really help the planet. Uh, but people are not willing to give up meat. Yeah, you know, some people will be willing to, but other people, they may be willing to, but they sort of, they have a weakness of will. They say, wow, this, this steak is just too juicy. I can't do it. I, I'm one of those, by the way. So, you know, but so here's the thought, right? So it turns out that we know a lot about, so there, we have these, intolerance to, uh, so I, for example, I have milk intolerance, um, uh, and there's some people are intolerant to crayfish, so possibly we can use hu human engineering to make it the case that we're intolerant to certain kinds of meat, to certain kinds of bovine, uh, bovine proteins, and there's actually analogs of this in life, there's this thing called the long star tick, where if it bites you, you will become allergic to meat. Uh, I can sort of describe the mechanism. So that's something that we can do through human engineering. We can kind of uh, possibly address really big world problems through human engineering.
He has the merit of telling us what he thinks I am opposed to these statements I think this person listening to us is of the same opinion as me the good news is that they will not be able to say that he did not know. Let's move on to the question from internet users. I quote will you create a clan or join an existing clan? I am spoiled for choice although it is unlikely that I will be able to make a video to join an existing clan which few clans shares my values principles but at the moment I am in contact to create one with friends whose we have not started discussions to know the name of the clan the logos the theme song the permanent members we will see after the discussions you will be informed via my social networks. Next question, what do you think of WWE 2K24, the new features and what do you think could improve the game? WWE 2K24 will be better than last year, but regarding online, I don't think the servers will be good to avoid split matches. We will have to wait until the game is exclusively on PS5. I made a video one year ago that I posted up to date. Let's look at it now. To start the types of match we look forward to every year online or offline. I quit match. Inferno match. Three stages of hell. Bar brawl match. Bragging rights match. Ten man match. Fight pit. Gauntlet match. Stretcher match. Casket match. Bury the live match. Ambulance match. Special guest referee. Boneyard match. Lumberjack match. For the divas. Fill your fantasy. Panty mud match or pudding match. The essential option that must be implemented as soon as possible. Example in a lumberjack match, the away wrestlers must be players and no artificial intelligence. Another example use the controller microphone and I quit match if the player accepts his defeat. Online interference. You made a mistake here, Saxton. Hey, Corey, it's time to ask. What? You, you gotta be kidding me. This, this, this isn't happening. Oh my god, I thought my mind was playing tricks on me. What also made us love the WWE is the plot, but also the unexpected interventions, whether it is to discuss the at the micro. Now, what's the plan here? Phone. The start of a rivalry or whether it is interventions during the match, if all this is put online it will make us love the game even more. Online interference will completely change the game. It can be active early in the middle or late in the game. Imagine in a match without disqualification you play online is that you attack or dominate in a match you have the pos. Ability of calling an ally to intervene online, here is what the players confirm want. But seriously, we are in 2024, the real hype, will be the titles online, belt and money in the bank why not, and also unnecessary online interference to get you excited every year, because, the known video game YouTubers know nothing, about video games, the best in video games are not not known, it is reality. Next question, could you post a Smackdown vs Raw 2010 map? Yes I can I will post in due time. Last question in a few hours, your uncensored titantron will be published, do you think which will be better than last year? I'm trying to make the best Titantron in the world. I don't know if every year I would release the Titantron, but this year the uncensored Titantron will be exceptional. This is the end of this interview. Thank you for responding. We leave you with the last words at the end of this interview. Thank you to everyone who has supported me since the beginning special dedication to former SmackDown vs Raw wrestlers and my friends thank you again and see you soon. We leave you with the first titantron of MC Ronaldo 7. It was Zelia Zanella Celanello for World Wrestling Entertainment Magazine. Thank you and goodbye.
for accepting this interview. It was a real pleasure interviewing you. You're welcome. Before taking you home I invite you to dinner when do you say? I would be happy to have dinner with you. Okay let's go.